exciting episode of High Events. We are at Monarch Imperial to witness the 15th graduation ceremony of the International Institute of Health Sciences. I have Professor Nihal De Silva with me. Professor, how do you feel about the success of IIHS from the inception com coming this far of a journey? Well, it's been 22 years and I've been with it right from the start. Okay, so from the stage of diapers, now we have gone to the stage of uh, <laughs> walking with, uh, what shall I say, of walking sticks and rollers. We have covered an entire lifetime in 20 years, trained uh, more than enough graduates to bring pride and glory to Sri Lanka, and also some foreign exchange to Sri Lanka. And I think we have uh, raised the standards of education, especially in the healthcare training field. And so we are very proud of that uh, achievement. Also, congratulations of your appointment as Chancellor. Well, that was a surprise. I didn't know that I was uh, of that material, but uh, I can't refuse it either. So uh, today, uh, they have put on this responsibility, which, which is a little bit heavy on the shoulders at the moment but I probably will get used to it and it will probably keep me young a little bit longer. I have Dr. Kitsiri Adrisingha with me, the CEO of IIHS. Doctor, how do you feel about this moment in seeing all your students graduate? I'm absolutely humbly proud. It's the important thing at this particular graduation is uh, that they have really worked hard to attain this uh, qualification, which is a globally recognized one, at the most frugal environment because Sri Lanka went through uh, uh, most difficult times economically, socially, politically. So at that time it was tremendous pressure on students other than the academic pressure that they have. It is indeed a, a really proud moment for all of us and uh, all uh, kudos to the, all the students who have achieved their success today. What's the vision or how can we see IIHS in the upcoming years? Well, IHS has a triple strategy uh, to solve national, solve the national problem. Our national problem is uh, lack of dollar reserves. So our strategy A was to uh, uh, give a, uh, stop uh, our students going out of the uh, Sri Lanka to uh, access uh, foreign education. Because we are delivering those programs with Coventry University and Open University of Malaysia in Sri Lanka. Those are globally recognized ones. Then uh, we uh, are looking at uh, exporting uh, skill labor, which we have already started. So that would bring loads of uh, foreign currency to Sri Lanka. And then thirdly, now we have been named as a global center for healthcare training by Coventry University. So we are expected to have many foreign students. All these three would add uh, dollars, reserves, bring dollars to the country and support our economy. In terms of the direction, uh, uh, we are currently working on a uh, platform uh, to create this global hub of education. Uh, we have this uh, brand new multiversity facility uh, which is the most sustainable building ever built in the most frugal times. Uh, and then uh, we are moving, the current, we are designing our hospital, university hospital, which we currently, uh, we, it's, a, it's a more of a healing hospital where pa patients, uh, when they walk into the hospital, their blood pressure won't go up, but in fact it will grow down and there is, it's a different concept. And we are uh, really working on a social care project where we can have sustainable living as well as sustainable aging. So we aging also one area that we are looking at to pursue. And then with our, one of the things that we have done, uh, we, our unique value proposition is a high quality global recognized programs at a price point. Nobody can beat that price point. So the pricing what we have done is 120th of the cost of the international level. So this, uh, we, together with Coventry University, uh, we are going to support the other health systems. You know, so Africa, South Asia, all of them needs healthcare training, healthcare nurses and the other health, health, allied health professionals. So we are going to help them with our learnings over 22 years. And then we will not only support Sri Lanka to develop their health system, but the other uh, countries to develop. And uh, finally, we have ignited a thing called a sustainable city from uh, a multiversity project. So we are in the process of creating the first sustainable city uh, in Sri Lanka in Kerala Pitya. 
So these are very ambitious projects and adventurous projects. And uh, of course, IIHS would uh, respond to challenges and adventures. So that's what we are. I have Professor G.L. Pires with me. Professor, how do you feel about the graduation ceremony today and also what plans in future and also what can be done by IIHS to increase the economic situation in Sri Lanka? I think it's a very significant achievement. It demonstrates what uh, commitment by a group of people uh, with leadership and dedication can achieve in a remarkably short uh, period of time. Right? So this fulfills a basic need of the country, the uh, improvement of our human resources in an area that is vitally important, uh, nursing, uh, medical training in a variety of fields. And uh, uh, this institution is attracting students from all over the world, from uh, not only from this region, from you know, further afield and uh, the links with other institutions of stature abroad like the University of Coventry uh, this will enable us to earn foreign exchange uh, to prevent the brain drain people going out of the country uh, after all that is the uh, basic strength of this country the caliber of our human resources so uh, in every way uh, I think this is a singular achievement of my classmate at St. Thomas's College, uh, Dr. Adrian De Silva. Uh, I would uh, wish him well and I think this is the kind of initiative that needs to be very strongly supported, uh, especially in the economic circumstances in which the country finds itself today. I have Dr. Amal Harsha De Silva with me. What is it that all the nurses need to reach the next step internationally and globally? I think, you know, they have taken the most difficult step. They have uh, taken the graduation from a combined program from uh, IHS as well as uh, Coventry University. Therefore, when once, once they, they, they pass this step, it's a matter of going to the international arena. They, can, they have the opportunity in, in US, UK, Australia, and also Finland, uh, and many other countries. Therefore, I think, you know, they have they put the foundation right and there are a lot of government nurses who have upgraded themselves now because uh, as soon as they upgrade themselves, the whole world is open for them and, and the salaries there is huge and there are many nurses and many healthcare professionals who have passed from IHS is serving the global population. Therefore, this will bring back glory to Sri Lanka in time to come because whenever you go as a housemaid, you put the country down. But when you go as a healthcare professional, the country is up and, and also the money is also up. You know, a housemaid will, will earn one fourth the salary of, of, of a qualified nurse. And then not only earning, you give love, you give care, you give you give Sri Lankan part of Sri Lanka to them. Therefore, I think this Dr. Kitsi Singers program, IHS Multiversity is doing a wonderful job. I have Professor Fiona Nolan with me. Professor, how do you feel about being a part of the graduation today? I'm really honoured. It's a fantastic experience and I'm so privileged to be here. And I'm very thankful to IHS for inviting me. How do you feel about the opportunity, the global opportunities the Sri Lankan nurses have? I think Sri Lankan nurses have an advantage over many other countries I've been to. I've been to I've done international work for about 10 years now and I've been really impressed with the standards that I've seen in IHS particularly. So they're at a good, they're very well positioned for international work. I have Dr. Dinusha with me. Dr. Dinusha, tell me a little bit, how are the students prepared for the global environment? Uh, IHS uh, being a healthcare training organization, we expect students to go for international level opportunities. So we strongly believe that just having a certificate would not be enough. So that is why we ensure students are equipped with uh, all the others is required to be a global, globally accepted special healthcare professional. So other than giving the basic knowledge skills related to the particular subject area, we ensure our students are uh, exposed to different other activities. Uh, we in fact call them as co-curricular activities because uh, we expect students to get to engage in a lot of extra work where we have included them under the curricula. So if they can do this extra curricular work, they can get marks, they get credits. So thereby they ensure they improve their soft skills including 
their personality, communication skills, team building skills, and of course, the level of English communication. So with all these things, apart from giving them the qualification, we ensure that they have the skills required to be an international level a global healthcare professional. I have Stephanie Anthony with me. So Stephanie, tell me how are the students taken care of and also what are the international programs lined up at IIHS? So today was a very remarkable event because the first time I'm um, like the largest group of students from bachelors and master of nursing graduated today and all from the well-recognized international programs. So the, their pathway is really cleared that they know where they can go up to as an international nurse and also as an international educator. So we have highest number of uh, graduates from the CU bachelor's nursing and also highest number of graduates from the master of nursing. So with IHS support, we have been pioneering it to deliver well-recognized qualifications over the 20 years and today we have uh, uh, achieved the 3,000 nursing professions as one of our key achievements. I have Shamali with me. Shamali, can you tell me what made you choose IIHS? Yes, actually I uh, did my bachelor's, I completed my bachelor's degree at IIHS. I had a good experience working with IIHS team. Um, they are globally recognized and uh, have an uh, updated curriculum and uh, uh, perfect lecture panel. Uh, as an institution, they provided so many opportunities like e-libraries, e-access, and uh, high quality learner management system. Uh, and uh, especially the, the team of IIHS is working very well. I have Stevika with me. So Stevika, what was the reason you selected IIHS and how do you feel about the selection? Yeah, so for build, uh, build a strong building, we need a strong foundation. So my uh, career goal was to be a nurse and going beyond nurse and doctorating in nurse. So for that, I need a strong foundation. So I believe that IIHS give that strong foundation because it has so many years of experience in nursing education. I have Tekla joining in with me. So Tekla, can you elaborate why you selected IIHS? Yes, good questions. Actually, I have heard some more successful stories from my colleagues and the superiors regarding IIHS, and they offer us uh, UGC and world recognized uh, postgraduate qualifications. So, I have selected uh, IIHS as my postgraduate qualifications. I have Kenny with me. Kenny, what was the reason you selected IIHS, and how do you feel about the selection? So, after my A levels, I was searching for a lot of places to do my nursing career and then suddenly my mom recommended this place and then when I came here the staff were so friendly and they helped me out with whatever the doubts that I had and uh, when I joined IHS it was like a really new experience and it was really great. All these three years has really been a great experience for me and a wonderful journey. I would say I was exposed to a lot of uh, international healthcare workers and uh, I had the opportunity of also uh, you know, publishing researchers, and I've got a great exposure. I'm really happy that I chose this. I have Harshani with me. Harshani, why do you think IIHS is the right place for your academic knowledge? Yes, I think it's right, best place for my academic. And uh, is there any reason how you got to know about IIHS as well? Uh, yes, I wait, uh, know very well. Um, I am proud to be a graduate as a nurse at IIHS. I have Nidula with me. So Nidula, why did you select IIHS? Actually, uh, the main thing is I did uh, technology for my A-levels, but I wanted to continue my higher studies in physiotherapy. So then I was searching, so then I found IIHS. So then they gave me this uh, amazing opportunity to continue my higher studies in physiotherapy. So yeah. I have Natalia joining in with me. So Natalia, how do you feel about your selection today at IIHS and also graduating today? I feel really excited to be here, to have finally completed my uh, diploma in nursing. And yeah, it has been a great journey with IIHS. I have Natalia with me. So Natalia, how excited are you today? Uh, I'm very excited and this is such a joyful day for me because this is my first ever graduation. And also to have my grandma around is very happy. And also, why did you select IIHS? Uh, first of all, uh, I always, always wanted to go continue my studies in the healthcare field and this is a pioneer to be in the healthcare education. So also they have these uh, pathways for the foreign countries and it's, uh, they are offering us the, this program for a very affordable price.
ladies and gentlemen, we now have the procession of the stage panel members. We kindly invite everyone to please rise for the IHS maze. We gather here today for the IIHS graduation ceremony of 2023. We are deeply honored to have the privilege of hosting such esteemed guests today, and we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your presence. It is with immense joy and excitement that we gather here today to celebrate this momentous graduation event. On behalf of everyone involved, my name is Nasha Thamid. And I'm Ayesha Nethmini. And we, we are finally, finally a biomedical, biomedical students. science students. And it is our pleasure to be your host for the day. Welcome, esteemed guests. And we are honored to have Professor Mahesh Adrasingha, Vice Chancellor of the University of Vocational Technology, and Professor Fiona Nolan, Clinical Professor in Mental Health at Anglia Ruskin University, UK, as our chief guest and guest of honor, respectively. We would also like to extend our gratitude to the special guests and graduates and parents who have joined us today. Your presence and contributions make this, occasion, uh, make this occasion truly special. To begin the ceremonial proceedings, please join us in standing for the National Anthem of Sri Lanka. This wonderful morning, we have the amazing dancers from the Garmini Kamal Academy Dancing performing the opening dance event of today. So sit back and watch just a part of Sri Lankan culture come to life. gentlemen to formally welcome you all today and to speak on the essential ingredient to become a global professional we welcome on stage dr kitsiri ediri singha the ceo co-founder and director of academic strategy and international affairs of iihs over to you sir this is a very important moment and you all did it and let let all of us give a round of applause to all the graduates and their parents So I should thank uh, uh, not only their parents and the loved ones, also the others who have supported them, the nurses training schools, uh, the uh, hospital matrons, uh, their uh, directors, Ministry of Health officials. Many stakeholders have supported them to achieve the, this uh, target today. And parallelly, the, I should mention the uh, 
uh, staff of IIHS were stood behind. It was not easy uh, for the last few years uh, to do things the way we used to do. Uh, it was very difficult. But uh, challenges is the one that IIHS move forward. They take challenges and they supported all our students. Please welcome the Vice Chancellor of IIHS, Dr. Renuka Jayatissa. I know all of you are proud to be here today because every one of you has made a positive impact on the global health. You have completed one stage of academic qualifications and better suited to perform a job. However, learning will never end. Continuing professional development, in short, we call it as CPD, which helps you to excel in your career. You have gained many professional skills formally through your degree program and informally on the job or by watching others. CPD exists to enhance your skills and abilities. It ensures developing, maintaining, and documenting your professional skills in the right direction. It is indeed my great honor to invite the Chancellor of IIHS, Professor Nihal De Silva, on stage to speak to us on a legacy of excellence, honoring the journey of IIHS graduates. Professor De Silva, the floor is yours. Presently, we are living in dangerous and doubtful times with pandemics, crime and scandals, pervasive corruption, inclement weather, unemployment, no respect for law and order, inflation, rising taxes, all under a leaking umbrella of bankruptcy. Nothing looks good or pleasant. It is so different from what it was when I was a high teen. Countries we considered at low levels below us are now flourishing. And we are going to them now begging for employment, loans. In this reversal of fortune, we are forced to adapt or perish. IIHS has survived <clears throat> over the last 20 years, although <clears throat> we had many roadblocks and a lot of people discouraged.
I have Mituni Prathana with me. So Mituni, firstly, congratulations and how do you feel about winning this award? Uh, thank you so much. So I should say that I'm really happy today. It's one of my happiest days. And I'm happy about choosing IIHS to pursue my nursing career, mainly because of the pathways that are available at IIHS to countries like Australia, UK and Finland. So I'm following the 3 plus 1 pathway to Australia, the Deakin University. Uh, so the past three years was interesting and it was really fun. We had a lot of experience both academic-wise and non-academic-wise. Talking about the academic experience, IIHS has an experienced lecture panel who deliver lectures at IIHS and we had clinical experience at leading private hospitals like Asri, Hamas and Kings. And talking about the non-academic experience, we have a lot of student committees who organize events at IIHS. So taking part in those events enhance our personality and build up our character. Duranjali, so firstly congratulations and how do you feel about winning the award and also selecting IIHS? Um, uh, Dilaji Madhuri Singh from Advanced Diploma in Biomedical Sciences. So currently uh, I'm doing my de uh, degree in Coventry University. So I'm super excited and today is a very special day for me. And you're very excited also because you have won an award and it's very special for you. It's very hard, close to your heart, I believe. Yeah. Uh, at IHS, uh, I myself being a vice secretary in a scientific committee and I'm uh, joining more community projects as well and uh, researchers as well. You see, I, we have uh, our Bioinquiry Research Forum and uh, Currently, I'm doing my 17th research. It's related to uh, finding antidote using snake venoms against poisonous fruits. Uh, so, I invite you all, my dearest, uh, come and join with IHS. Uh, IHS open opportunities are unlimited. Onuli, how do you feel about you know completing your degree today and also selecting IIHS? Yes, I'm really excited today because uh, this is my first ever graduation ceremony. Uh, so it feels amazing to be here celebrating this achievement. Uh, for biomedical students, uh, they have well equipped and uh, amazing laboratories. If you are looking for a good university to continue your studies, come and join with IIHS. Thank you. I had Twini here up with me. So Twini, how do you feel about being a product of IIHS today? Um, I'm ecstatic actually. Uh, it's been like a journey for us, all of us. We've had our ups and downs. Um, and like, it's like, it's been an amazing four years. And I think like, even though there were ups and downs, I think it was all worth it. Um, me being a person who was like initially quite um, timid and not forward, I think I was able to break through so many of those restraints and um, improve myself in a whole while also uh, creating an extremely successful uh, future for myself and my future in my studies. I have Chandani with me. So firstly Chandani, congratulations and how do you feel about winning this award today? Thank you. I am really happy because I am best student from the uh, executive master's uh, program from the uh, taken from IIHS. Uh, it is a world recognized uh, institute because uh, it's really gave us uh, healthcare industry professional. I have Amisha with me. So Amisha, I'm sure you're very excited at the moment. So let's just share your moment. Uh, yeah, I'm really very excited and also I'm very thankful for this day to IHS. And uh, when talking about this moment, uh, I've got I've got a lot of experience through IHS and that is why I'm here today, standing here today. Um, when talking about my studies at IHS, uh, I started my, um, uh, right after my A-levels, I started my uh, ADGN program, Advanced Diploma in General Nursing. And meanwhile, I also did my foundation, uh, which is why I, could, I didn't have to do my second shy A-levels. Uh, so after doing, after doing my Advanced Diploma, I also, um, uh, I was to go abroad but then as you all can remember COVID uh, happened and then uh, due to country's restrictions uh, I wasn't able to uh, go abroad so but then I was thinking of what to do next but then uh, IHS also offered me the Coventry program um, which is a really great opportunity for students who want to migrate abroad and who are unable to migrate abroad because there is an international opportunity given to uh, to Sri Lankans by IHS. I have Isuru with me. So Isuru, congratulations and how do you feel about your experience at IHS? Okay, thank you. 
Uh, I am so excited today. Uh, already I had a, a great opportunity to learn a BSc degree in Sri Lanka uh, through the IHS. Uh, this BSc nursing degree offered by Coventry University UK and uh, University Grant Commission offered by University Grant Commission. And uh, this is really uh, very uh, helpful for us. I have Patum with me. Patum, so firstly congratulations and share the moment with us. Yeah, thank you very much for the uh, wishes and uh, I feel really humble and uh, happiness about the achievements that I got uh, and uh, if I have to explain something else to the students who are coming to the IHS, you, are, you got many opportunities here. Uh, what you have to do is uh, complete your A-levels or, or without completing A-levels you can come to IHS, come in with us. There are a lot of opportunities that you can go to Australia, Finland and anything that you like, any country that you like. And, uh, Feel free to uh, learn here. We have many things, many opportunities. You are warmly invited to come to IIHS. I have Nisiri with me. So Nisiri, how do you feel about being a product of IIHS? Um, it's actually, I'm very grateful to this place because I've been here for five years, now, five and a half years. Now I did my diploma here and also my bachelor's. So I have to say, right out of school, I was um, a person who was very, um, wanting to dream big, but very scared of the world, I guess. But then uh, Dr. Kitsuri and uh, IHS team, literally all the lecturers, they've been supporting me and they've been helping me out to reach out for my dreams. And also they, I've been able to harness my skills a lot. Um, as, a, as a student I came out, um, if I came out as a certain person, but as a graduate now, I am more promising to the world because um, I was able to uh, build up my, uh, more, more of my skills other than my nursing career, also my interpersonal skills and soft skills also. So I guess IHS was really great for me and uh, yeah, I hope, I hope for more because uh, I have to say Dr. Kitsuri is doing a really uh, good job in giving us opportunities because um, five years back the opportunities that I had was not available now but now I have to say that they've grown a lot and as a person who've been with them I'm very proud of IHS. And that brings us to a closing note on the graduation ceremony 2023. Let's meet on our next episode of High Events.